is in the house. People, I want you to let go and let God. Man, I got a message, but you got to let go and let God. I want you to let go all of your past, all of the things that happened to you in 2019. Everything that happened to you even one day ago. I want you to let it go.
God. He said, Deliver me from my enemies. Oh my God. Defend me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me in this Psalm 50. Psalm 50, y'all can follow with me. And then God want to do something. God want to do something for each and every one of you. So you're going to tell them all friends goodbye. You better say something. The old friends that want to hang out with you, that want to smoke a joint every now and then. So, oh God, somebody better say yes. They want to take pills by pill. See your friends long for the old man. Yes, yes. Your friends are long for new things. They're not going to long for the things of God. Can you say amen? Amen. in the name of Jesus. Yes. This message that I'm going to deliver to you, Lord, to the people, by your spirit, God, is for a reason. Yes. It's for a reason. God said, I'm going to give you a chance. You've got to understand. God said, I love you so much that I'm going to give you a warning today. Mm -hmm. Do not destroy me. Yes. That's what this one said. Defend me. Y'all got it? Defend me from those who rise up against me, Lord. In another word, when you say, defend me from those who rise up against me, then you tell me that Lord set me up on high. Keep me. Watch over me. Protect me. Deliver me from the workers of what? Iniquity. Iniquity. That's what they used to call sex sins. Ouch, Lord have My mercy. God. God, get ready to go in. Amen. Some people say, well, you know what? Saints said, yeah, that's that. The, the Bible said, he that knew it to do good and do it not to him, and this is sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when you are a child of the most high yeah. God, yeah. and you know what's right and what's wrong, yeah. then the devil trick you to go back, yeah. Yeah. trick you to do this, trick you to do that, and you give up. to me than you. And nothing no more imparted to me 
than God. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's where you got to get to. Yes. Amen. Amen. He said they run and they prepare themselves from no fault of mine. Here they are, Lord. They at me. And I'm reading out of the New King James. Amen. He's, and this is what he's talking about. He said they run to the prepare themselves from no fault of mine and wait to help me and the whole. That's what he, he said. You therefore, O Lord, God of hosts, the God of Israel, await to punish all of the nation. Do not be merciful to any of the wicked transgressors. David yeah. mm. mm. was tired. Amen. He got tired of them trying to kill him. Amen. He said, and, and he said, at evening they would turn, they growl like a dog. And go all around the city. Indeed, they bash with their mouths. They drinking it and, and, and doing all of these swords are in their lips. They say words against me and cut me down. Somebody better say amen. But God knows the righteous one. God loves those that are trying to do their best. God said, He said, I love you, my brothers and sisters. He said, But I want to prepare a way of but you got to listen to the words of the living God. Amen. Whoever has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of God said unto the church. It's easy for us to turn around and go back, but it's hard to fight. I'm a fighter. I'm like the lion of Judah. Somebody better say amen. I believe in fighting my way out. Can you say amen? I'm not one that give up, uh -huh. lay down and play dead. Not this sister. Uh -huh. I'm a fighter. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to take get out of my face with that. Uh -huh. You know I'm not like that. Yeah. Amen. You know what the deal is. Yeah. You know how I am. Come on, somebody. You know I'm trying to live for God. You know I'm in the church. Come on, somebody. You got to learn how to open your mouth and fight. Yes. 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 Another person should have been here today. Amen. 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 I know they should have been here. God showed me a dream. Uh -uh. Showed me a dream. And he showed me a dream. That, and I said, I said, Lord, I'm not going to embarrass. I'm not going to call them out. I'm not going to say anything. This person, I saw, sold all of their clothes. Listen to what I'm getting ready to tell you. This person sold all of their clothes and then they went with the world. And that person was dancing with the world, doing different things, and started doing all kinds of things. Let me tell you, take and sell your righteousness if you want to. See, your righteousness as our clothes. The Bible tells us to be clothed right? in righteousness. Yeah. And I saw this person turning around, selling it. Y'all can have it. Be like Jesus and Esau. Then that scripture said, he said, be like Jacob and Esau. Esau sold his inheritance for a pot of beans. Are you selling your Christianity for a piece of pot of beans or something out there in the world? It's not worth it, my people. It's not worth it, my brothers and sisters. No, not at all. Not at it's all. not worth it. No. That the 15 year, that 15 minute, that the, oh, y'all, you're going to get deep now. Yes, get deep. <laughs> Go ahead, Bashir. Y'all know, and I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, y'all know sex all out there. Yeah. You know drugs all out there. Just for a hit, for a few little minutes to get a high. Just for a half sex for a few little minutes. Mm. Then you know the man is a minute man. Let's stop, Carol. You know me. I love you. Tell him on something. They don't make men like they used to. Come on, son. Y'all better say anything. They got this young and y'all fall for it. Stand up and stand up and be who you are. Say, listen, brother, look, I don't mind. Listen, I like you, you like me. And listen, we are we talking about marriage here? Right. Are we talking about but, but y'all better take that song that Beyonce say put a ring on it. Right. Put your Every 
I say? Amen. 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 David is telling us that if God, God can deliver you from whatever you are going through this morning, yes. and honestly, somebody, no, it's God. Yes. When God showed me that that person, then it's a lot, and it kind of troubled me in my spirit, yes. Yes. and I didn't like it. Yes. And I said, Lord, I said, touch that person. Yes. Touch them and let them know that you love them. Yes, Lord. Touch them and let them know, Lord, that you came to give life yes. and life more abundantly. Yes. Somebody better say amen. amen. God want to deliver you from those things yes. this morning. Yes. That's the reason some people can shout, can get it loose, can break loose. Let me tell y'all, beautiful women, know this. Don't sell yourself short to nobody. Nobody, my God. If you want to, let him go to the next person. That's right. Amen. Then let him go to the next home. That's right. Oh, excuse me, yeah. I said, let him go to the next home. <laughs> no. You stay firm in what you believe in. Yes. My mama taught us that. Firmly. And what you believe in. Somebody said, well, Pastor, what about you? Nina? Yes. Virgin, when I got married. Scared to go that way. I used to beat the boys. Right. I, when, I was in school, when I was in school, the boy came up there and he touched me. And I said, who told you to touch me? He said, he said, I, t he said I, I, I touch you because I like you. I said, don't. I said, I dare you to do it again. I said, I dare you. I bought my fish and I stood like I said, Daddy, to do it again. I, I don't mean no harm. I, I, and then he started telling everybody, Good boy, don't touch that girl. Don't touch Carolyn. Because Carolyn, she'll go off on it. That's right. This is my body. Everything from the head to the toe belongs to me. And you don't have ownership of this body. Somebody better say amen. So then I was in gym and I was sitting down, I had my leg crossed like this. So the boy came over there, another boy, put his hand on my knee. I, I, I lost it. Man, I do that. I, I do that because I didn't like for no guys to touch me without my permission. Amen. You have to do that. Yes. Amen. And I went, I beat, me and him were going around. No, I was just, hey, man, no, oh, I'm good. What? I was tearing him up. <laughs> So then they start calling me Tom, but don't mess with that girl. That girl would fight. Yes, and I would. I would do that because that's what I believe in doing. Amen. You know, respect your own body. If you don't respect your own body, ain't nobody else going to respect you. When I was working for the city of Richmond, and I could have filed a lawsuit, but I did not. This man, the director of human resources, came by and touched me back here. Oh. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> he had a habit of touching all of the women. My Everybody. God. So I went to the um, CAO, his executive, and I told her about it. He don't mean no harm. He just oh. did that. What? what is that? What is that? You, you, you do. You got to respect That's people's great. policy. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So listen, y'all. Don't respect yourself. Respect yourself for who you are. Yes. That's what you have to do. And if you don't respect yourself, let me tell you, when I was dating my husband here, and he, he after when we was uh, two years, the first time I went out with him, he bought me this and bought me dinner and everything. I said, look, let me tell you how I am. I'm not another person that's going to be a knot to your belt. And he said, what? Because that's what one of somebody told me that. And so, and he said, no. He said, I know what type of woman you are. You are a respectful woman. Very respected. You, you, you keep yourself together. Amen? Amen. So I'm telling all of my beautiful young ladies in here, if you wait on God, the Mr. Right will come. Yeah. I, I guarantee you. Yeah. Mr. Right will come. And when he come, he's going to come respectfully. Oh he's going to respect you. He's 
not gonna force you to do something that you don't want to do. He's gonna talk about how beautiful you are. Let him know who you are. Don't go out with him on the first night. Yeah, what hotel are we going to? Y'all better stop that. That's a shame. Get some dignity about yourself. Come on. I don't care if the moving stars, the actors, the actresses, they do that on television. That's them. You respect yourself. I heard Aretha Franklin say, respect yourself. <laughs> then she started singing R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Uh -huh. You better learn how to respect you yeah. as an individual. That's right. You don't put your hands on me. You don't hug me. You don't do different things like that. Respect me. Yeah. Respect my body. I, amen. Amen. And this is what David said after he said all of those things. He said, but you, O oh Lord, should laugh at them. You shall have all the nation in derision. They're going to be confused about what you're going to do. I will wait for you. Oh, you, his strength. For God is my defense. Yes. I want to let you know that you got a defense, a mechanism with you today, which is the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. And I guarantee you, young ladies, when you respect yourself and keep yourself together, Yes. Mr. Wright will come. God will yes. send you a beautiful person. Yes. A beautiful husband. Yes. A beautiful man that will treat you and love you. Yes. So I'm asking you, number one, ask God to deliver you from all of those past experiences. Yes. Deliver you from Willie, John, and all of those other names that you slept with. Come on, somebody. All the workers of iniquity, all the bloodthirsty men, the bloodthirsty men, those that after you and then only want a booty call. I'm going to tell you straight up and point blank. Amen. Listen, bro, bro. Amen. You call me at 12 o'clock at night. Uh, do you need prayer? Do you? No, I just want to see you. Listen, let me ask you. I just want to see you. You've been on my mind. Yeah, I know right. I've been on your mind. See, that's how the devil would get you. Uh -huh. I can't I can't think about nothing else but you. Go go to bed. <laughs> go to go to sleep. Shut up. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Lord, I know that's Lord, right. I have to say it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep and go to bed. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> mess with Bo Cresha. You've been messing with her anyway. Ain't oh, oh, nothing over here for sharing. Come right. on, somebody. It's a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Somebody better say amen. Oh, my God. They will talk you if you listen to them. And it's late at night. Say, so listen, thank you for calling me. Thank you for saying that you was concerned about me. Now go to sleep. Good night. Be blessed of the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you got to do. People, I'm telling you, the enemy is out there. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And give the Lord a hand praise. <laughs> Listen. And I just want to say this part to you to say that in God, I have put my trust and I will not be afraid. What can man do? to me. Yes. I want you to understand you are valuable to God. Yes. And I want everybody to stand on your feet. And I want you as something constant with deliverance. Amen. Um, um, something by Tasha Kong. Amen. And it's something that we need to know that God loves each and every one of you. Yes. Value yourselves. You all are beautiful. You're smart. Don't devalue, don't let nobody devalue you. You are significant in the eyesight of the Lord. Just like Mary said she was highly favor of God. When you give your, that's what I want, cousin. When you give your life to Jesus, all of these other things that's around you doesn't matter. I want everybody to come to this altar. The things that in your life right now that you know you are.